We have a weather alert, Jason, not for snow, fortunately, but we do have some pretty strong storms moving through the region. Yeah, that's right. We do have those strong, strong storms moving through the region. Uh, and a lot of it started a little bit earlier on uh, this afternoon. It looks like we do have the wrong weather computer up at the second. But uh, what we do have kind of going on in the atmosphere, and the reason why we saw a hail like this that was chimed in, uh, it was because of kind of that cold pool off. We've been talking about this a little bit today with the setup in the atmosphere. There we go. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, and what was happening was not too far off the ground, only about five to 10,000 feet off the ground. That's when you got below 32 degrees and then you went even higher up to the top of some of these thunderstorms and those temperatures dropped close to less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So currently what we have going on right now is this cell that is impacting portions of South County, uh, specifically down towards Charlestown and also Westerly. We see all the lightning in place. That is kind of an indication of a lot of the ice crystals in the cloud itself. And when the ice crystals are kind of bouncing off of each other, builds up enough static electricity more or less to form a lightning bolt. And over the last 15 minutes, 105 strikes of lightning just within this red box. So it's a pretty impressive storm. And it's also an indication that there is a little bit of hail on our hail tracker, still tracking a little bit of this blue cluster, which could be between about three quarters and an inch of hail coming down at the moment. But we'll take a 3D slice of this thunderstorm to kind of get an idea of how tall these clouds actually are. Remember, I was just telling you how above 10,000 feet it is below 32 degrees. So basically this entire shaft of the thunderstorm right here in this updraft, a lot of the water droplets are bouncing off of each other, starting to freeze and starting to form a little bit of that hail. And that's why we saw that extreme hail, especially out towards Mattapoisett, where those clouds were closer to 40,000 feet, which meant the tops of them were close to zero degrees Fahrenheit. And that's how we were able to get those giant golf ball size hailstones coming down. And that is why we've really been seeing all this wacky weather uh, this afternoon, Tammy. All right, so the conditions were really perfect for that. And that's kind of rare, Jason, right? We don't see that too often. Yeah, that's right. It's extremely rare for us to kind of see this here in southern New England. But we just had those right conditions in place in order for that to actually happen.